Now, let's perform a quick task, shall we? Now, take a handful of sand and oil it into a cup, quarter filled with water. Now, place it side by side with some dry sand. Is there a difference between them? Of course, it's obvious, right? <laughs> one is dry and the other one is wet. Yes, smart guess. Next, try to eat the wet sand. It is going to lose its water, right? Like the dry sand, they are salts that do not contain water of crystallization. They are called anhydrous salt. Now, like the wet sand, they are salts that have water in them. The water molecule is loosely held to the salt molecule and when heated, like the wet sand, they can lose it. They are called hydrated salts. So what have we learned? We have learned that salts can also be classified into anhydrous and hydrated salt. Anhydrous salts do not contain water and cannot be crystallized out of the aqueous solution. Examples are NaCl, KNO3, KMNO4, etc. Now, while hydrated salts are salts with water of crystallization, combine chemically with water and can lose their water of crystallization when heated. The water attached is known as the water of crystallization. Examples include CUNO32, 3H2O, that is copper 2, trioxonitrate 5, trihydrate. We have MgSO4, 7H2O, that is magnesium tetraoxosulfate 6, heptahydrate. We also have FeSO4, 7H2O, that is ion 3, tetraoxosulfate 6, heptahydrate. I hope you enjoyed that class. See you next class. Bye for now.